Now we're going to enter into a, a time of prayer. And uh, as we're going to be singing 787, a very familiar song to most people. First verse says, Sweet hour of prayer, sweet hour of prayer, that calls me from a world of care, and bids me at my Father's throne, make all my wants and wishes known. In seasons of distress and grief, my soul has often found relief, and oft escaped the tempered near by thy return, sweet hour of prayer. We're going to sing the first two verses, and Major Dave is going to come and share in prayer.
just reach out and find you are there. They don't need to be in a special place. They don't need to have a special person there. They know that with you, there is blessing. With you, there is comfort. There is peace. There is a joy that the world cannot give. So, Lord, we pray your blessing upon those who have special needs just now. We would ask that you will be with those who are sick and those who are shut in, those who are elderly. We know that so many are going through difficult times. So many are still worrying about COVID. But Lord, again, you know all about it. And you know the blessings that we can receive just by trusting you to leave it in your hands. Lord, thank you again for the privilege we have to just share in this way. And may we be a blessing to those who will listen today. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. We have the privilege of uh, coming before God in prayer. And He rewards us when we do so. He quiets our hearts, He settles our minds, and we can trust in Him and rely on Him. And in times of trouble, he is our stay. And that's a reward that we have here on this earth. But verse 3 tells us and reminds us of a day when we're going to leave this earthly existence. We're going to go to be with God. And in that day, we will gain the prize that is everlasting. The uh, song chorus says, Put off this robe of flesh and rise to gain the everlasting prize and realize forever there the fruits of the sweet hour of prayer. In that day, everything will be made clear. In that day, the prayers that we thought were not answered will be answered. It will be made clear to us. But until then, our hearts bow before him and we offer him the conversation of prayer. Shall we sing the third verse together and then I'll close with prayer.
because success doesn't depend on us, it depends on you. You are the one who will take our weak efforts and will magnify it so that people uh, who listen to the internet, people who listen to the TV, will be able to worship with us. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for uh, the knowledge that you can take the weak things of this world and you can magnify them for your honor and for your glory. And Lord, we just ask that you would be uh, ever present as we continue to worship you in this manner. In your name I pray. Amen. Amen.